In today's ever-evolving landscape of mental health and social services, the role of social workers is more crucial than ever. However, along with the responsibilities they carry comes the need for protection against potential risks, such as malpractice claims. One significant aspect of this protection is malpractice insurance, an essential safeguard for social workers. Join us as we delve into the world of malpractice insurance for social workers and uncover the factors that determine its average cost. Social workers play a vital role in society, providing support, counseling, and advocacy to individuals and communities facing a myriad of challenges. From assisting families in crisis to advocating for marginalized populations, their work encompasses a wide range of responsibilities. Malpractice insurance, also known as professional liability insurance, is designed to protect professionals, including social workers, in the event of a lawsuit alleging negligence or errors in their professional services. This coverage not only provides financial protection, but also offers peace of mind to social workers as they navigate complex and sensitive situations. What are some common misconceptions about malpractice insurance for social workers? One common misconception is that malpractice insurance is only necessary for medical professionals. In reality, social workers face unique risks in their practice, including allegations of professional misconduct or breach of confidentiality. Malpractice insurance provides essential protection against these risks, ensuring that social workers can focus on their clients without the fear of financial ruin. The average cost of malpractice insurance for social workers can vary significantly depending on several factors. Let's take a closer look at some of these key determinants. Experience and credentials, social workers with more experience and higher credentials, such as licensed clinical social workers, LCSWs, may face lower insurance premiums due to their proven track record and advanced training. The scope of a social worker's practice, including the types of services offered and the populations served, can impact insurance costs. Those working in high-risk areas, such as child welfare or substance abuse treatment, may face higher premiums. Geographic location, insurance rates can also vary based on the location of a social worker's practice. Urban areas with higher population densities and increased competition may have higher insurance premiums compared to rural areas. A social worker's claims history, including any past lawsuits or settlements, can influence their insurance rates. Those with a clean claims history may qualify for lower premiums, while those with a history of claims may face higher costs. Malpractice insurance is a critical investment for me as a social worker. While I strive to provide the best possible care to my clients, 